The area across the entire bottom portion of the screen is called the status bar. In the lower left corner, this is a good place to keep your eye on while you're learning Revit, as Revit is giving you prompts as to what it expects you to do next. If I select the text command, for example, in the lower left I see Revit is telling me to click or drag rectangle to create text wrapping. To the far right, there are some commands here related to work sharing which relate to multiple people working in the same Revit model, design options, and then there's some toggles on the far right that control how things are selected. This is a good thing to pay attention to as a new user as well, because if certain things are turned off so that they're not selectable, this can be frustrating when you're working in the drawing area and you can't figure out why something will not select. So when there's a red X, that means you cannot select underlays in this example, and we cannot select elements by face. There's another one that's helpful to turn off, and that's drag elements on selection. So with that on, if I go to drag a window, a selection window, that's my intent. Well, because I started dragging on top of an element, Revit is actually trying to move that element rather than start the selection window process. So I need to let that finish thinking really hard or click the cancel button in the lower left. And then when I toggle that command off, now when I go to drag that same window, it starts a selection window. It's not trying to instantly move something just because it's under my cursor.